foggy day in London town. Oh, I love this special equipment. It helps fish to to be fresh. And uh, and I see wonderful, wonderful fish section here in this store. Just have a look. Uh, different kinds of trouts. Um, average price is 900 rubles only. And what about cod? Uh, about 500 rubles for one kilo. And such a fresh crucian carp. Just have a look, only 170 rubles. So it's less than two dollars for one kilo. And for sure the best snack in the world. Red caviar. Yeah, red caviar. We like to eat it. We are Russians. We have a habit to eat. Uh, Red caviar. Hi guys, I'm Marina and uh, this is Channel Made in Rusland. Much water has flown under the bridge since I shot a video about supermarket for you. And be honest, did you miss my reviews about Russian grocery stores? Hmm? Let's get started. Today uh, I visit Perekryostok. It's a very famous uh, Russian chain. And as for me, I adore it, really. It's very good. It's autumn time now in Russia. And it means what? It means that there are a great deal of persimmon, phager, plums and grapes uh, in, all, in all grocery stores. And let's see the prices. So price for persimmon is uh, 190 rubles. Of course, you can find cheaper uh, at the local markets, but this is not local market. This is um, well-known uh, supermarket. And what about plums? Uh, 180 rubles. So you know that the rate of exchange today is uh, $1 is 100 rubles. So divide all prices by 100 and you will get price in dollars. So what about grape? Mm, about 200 rubles. About two dollars and less. What is really adorable for me in our uh, Moscow supermarket is a choice of tomatoes. Um, uh, just have a look. Different, different kinds and uh, with discounts and tomato cherry, very sweet uh, and, um, and tasty. Uh, even yellow tomatoes and even yellow cherry tomatoes. Of course, prices are not low here. 170 rubles for 250 grams. But you may buy unpacked tomatoes uh, in this product section. So uh, the lowest price for pink tomatoes is uh, a little bit more than 200 rubles. A little bit more than $2. Okay. What about smell? Yeah, the smell of tomatoes. Really nice. I think I'll take half a kilo. Oh, we have no problem with the cucumbers as well. <laughs> different kinds and different prices. So, mm, average price is uh, 100 uh, rubles for one kilo. And uh, astonishing variety of apples. Just have a look what it means autumn time average price is uh, again 100 rubles as for me i like these apples they are semi-sweet semi-sour and very juicy uh, the cheapest apples uh, are here 90 rubles for one kilo less than one dollar as for typical vegetables uh, so the price for potato is 25 rubles, 26 rubles for one kilo. It's a quarter of a dollar <laughs> for one kilo. And of course, uh, you can choose a more attractive potato, clean potato for 45 rubles for one kilo. And uh, even red potato, 50 rubles for one kilo. Price for onion is low as well and uh, it's uh, 35 cents if we are talking about dollar. 
One of the most healthy vegetables uh, is a beetroot and price for beetroot is again a quarter of dollar. Meat semi-finished products uh, here in this store, in my opinion, is uh, the most uh, uh, adorable section. Just have a look. Fresh meat and uh, just uh, you can buy it and cook uh, in different sauces with onion. And prices are hmm, about uh, 300, 400 rubles. And it is so popular among Russians nowadays to cook uh, steaks at home. Because it's uh, three times uh, cheaper than to order steaks in a restaurants. And you can buy steak with discount, but I, I would uh, never buy steak with discount because, guys, it's meat. Uh, if it's with discount, so it, it means uh, maybe something wrong with the, the date of expiry or something. So, for example, steak uh, strip loin costs, uh, you see price, uh, about 1,000 rubles, $10. It looks good. And steak ribeye, the same price. And, uh, and, uh, and okay, average price for steak is uh, from 500 rubles till 1,000 rubles, average, pr <laughs> average price. And one more new thing that I have noticed, uh, uh, quail. Have you ever uh, tried quail? So uh, it's like small, small uh, chicken, not chicken, of course, the taste is different. But you see, uh, uh, the legs of quail are small. <laughs> I can say it's very delicious uh, meat mm, for me. But it's popular now, really. And certainly a plenty of poultry. Turkey, different parts of Turkey, you see prices are, are the same. Uh, they were maybe one year ago. And uh, different parts of chicken, breasts, uh, wings, legs, uh, everything. And a lot of pork. Uh, the price for pork is um, about uh, 340 rubles for one kilo. And beef, of course, beef. My dear viewers, Russians love to eat meat. Uh, one day I decided to become a vegetarian and I couldn't uh, stand it because of cold climate. Uh, now it's autumn time and it's about uh, zero, minus uh, two, minus four, but uh, the winter is coming and um, it will be minus 20, sometimes uh, minus 25. And we can't live eating only lettuce and uh, uh, beans. That's why we are meat eaters. Whoo, guys, now it's 8.15 and you see, minus 20% for all. For all uh, food here in a ready to eat section, ready to eat food section, you see a lot of pilafs, different kinds of pilafs. Now, I hope all of you um, watched my videos uh, where we were cooking pilaf and the cutlets, uh, a fish fillet, and a, a traditional Russian golubtsi. It's meat with rice uh, wrapped in um, uh, cabbage leaves. And what else, what else? Boiled eggs, if you like to eat it. And uh, not so many salads because it's evening time. And chicken, chicken. Yeah, baked chicken is uh, one of my favorite dishes, you know. Just uh, what's price for chicken? Um, 54 rubles, 55 rubles for 100 grams. It's a good price. Half a dollar for 100 grams. Oh, now we have a chance to see uh, this uh, fish in fish section without fog. So, um, trout steaks, its price is uh, about 12 
dollars for one kilo, and salmon steaks are more expensive. Oh, guys, uh, I've, ju I've just uh, returned from fish regions of Russia, you know, uh, Kuril Islands, Island Sahalin, uh, Astrakhan, um, southern part of Russia, and so um, nothing can astonish me here. After that fish markets I, I've seen, but uh, looks not bad, not bad. Prices are high. Of course. For smoked fish, prices are always high. But what about uh, herring, uh, salty herring? Uh, its price is uh, about three dollars for kilo. Traditionally, rather good uh, section of uh, sausage and the cheese. Uh, let's see something. I would buy this one, uh, 85 rubles for 100 grams. So one piece costs um, two and a half dollars, not much. I don't know the tastes, uh, truth be told, uh, because I, I've never tried uh, Russian cheese. I tried to buy European cheeses. Oh my god, I see more and more cheesers. Oh, just have a look. Not only one section, but several sections. Soft cheeses, feta and something like that. And different kinds of mozzarella. As for me, I prefer mozzarella to other cheeses and I think I'll take two or three packs with discounts. Just have a look. Mozzarella, 120 grams for 130 rubles. Very good price, yeah? What do you think? When I visited Cyprus, uh, I used to eat um, halloumi cheese, cheese for frying. Have you ever tried it? A long, long row with beverages, but uh, I'm not going to to talk uh, about uh, cola today. <laughs> Surprise! I want you to introduce uh, this uh, traditional Russian beverage. I remember it since my childhood. Its name is Baikal, and it looks like cola, but it's not cola. It's made with herbs, and um, I think this taste is unbelievable when you come russia when you come to russia please buy baikal and try it promise me i couldn't stand guys cheers baikal forever amazing taste don't be jealous please welcome to russia Another fashionable product nowadays um, um, is energy drink. You see, there are a great variety of different energy drinks. Prices, um, prices are different. Uh, just uh, um, as for me, I sometimes I buy this zero sugar adrenaline for 120 rubles for half a liter. And um, I see uh, teenagers in Moscow um, drinking these energy drinks very, very often. I'm not sure it's good for health. But the largest section here in this store is... Yes, yeah, absolutely right. Alcohol section. <laughs> All these shelves are full of different wines and cognacs and gins and champagne and, of course, vodka. Everything. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's coffee. <laughs> Thanks, God. Coffee and tea. Because I don't want to, sh to film uh, alcohol today, truth be told. I'm not ready. Because I don't drink alcohol, you know. But I see great discounts for teas. 85 rubles for 20 packs. For example, Tess tea with taste of pina colada. What do you think? Is it delicious? 
My dear foreign viewers, can you tell me please what do you do with artichoke? You see this one, unknown vegetable. I know it's uh, delicious and um, not, uh, not so cheap, but I don't know what to do with this. How, how is it possible to cook artichoke? If you follow healthy lifestyle, so this food it is uh, utmost importance for you. You see broccoli and cauliflower and uh, what's this? Not potato, <laughs> not, not this, not this, sorry, sorry. This is ice cream. They did it on purpose. No, no ice cream. And if you're looking forward to trying traditional Russian food, what should you do? Of course, buy pelmeni. Just have a look, great choice of pelmeni. I think I can open it for you. Uh, yeah, it's great. With different names, different trademarks, different feelings and different prices, of course, and different size, different shapes. I know exactly a uh, Siberian collection is uh, one of the best uh, 500 rubles for 700 grams, the price for pelmeni. Uh, not because I'm from Siberia, it's my native land, but um, pe Siberian pelmens are always good. Okay. Uh, what about cooking pilaf? Here is the link to my video about pilaf. You can buy rice and uh, cook it at home. So what about rice here? Of course, again, there are different kinds of rice and wild uh, brown rice and uh, white rice. Um, rice for risotto and Indian rice and uh, rice for pilaf somewhere there are oh, Spanish rice, giant rice and you see prices are the average price for one kilo of rice is uh, okay let's say um, one and a half dollars as for me I adore to add different sauces in my food and um, especially spicy sources, for example, shriracha, hot chili sauce. Mm, it's burning, really. Um, and um, soy sauce is my thing. And what else? Sweet chili, um, thigh sauce. And please write down in comments what sauces you prefer to add in your food of course guys before visiting this uh, grocery store i had to have a snack because i'm i'm so hungry now and when i'm hungry i am angry and i can talk about food because my mouth is watering and watering and watering <sighs> i promise myself to visit grocery stores only when I'm full next time. Oh no, please, not cakes. <laughs> I'm not sure I can I can stand it. I will eat something right now immediately. Do you know what is this? The name of this um, equipment is Tandir and it's for baking uh, some delicious food. Uh, for example, here you can buy bread from Tandir, special bread with garlic. And I can't tell you about this fascinating smell of garlic, but it's not for diet. I can only sniff it. They have their own bakery here and bread is very very fresh and it's breathing you know and a um, great deal of uh, different kinds of loaves ciabatta again Italian 
uh, Italian cuisine, but uh, Russian Russians like Italian cuisine. And uh, you see prices. Uh, prices are not so high. For example, 50, 70, 60 rubles for one loaf. And pies, of course, pies are amazing. <sighs> Freshly baked pies and buns. It's kind of totter, you know, my dear views. <sighs> I hate this damn diets. <laughs> but I see a cafe here with the sushi and uh, and again with the buns and uh, and burgers uh. okay guys i have to come back home because my boiled cauliflower is waiting for me and here is the link to my best videos about moscow underground don't miss it <laughs>